Hey folks, Dono here with MasterFlash.net bringing you a Drupal 7 domain access tutorial. Uh, some of the key features of this video training is to cover how to set up your DNS information whether it's for a regular domain or a subdomain and uh, basically taking uh, a Drupal installation through a primary domain adding secondary domains as well as being able to configure subdomains to be controlled underneath of one Drupal 7 installation and one database. Some of the items that we cover in this tutorial is how to divide and conquer uh, menus, blocks, content, you name it. Uh, just to kind of give you an example of what I'm talking about, if you take a peek up here, we're on GeorgiaEcommerce.net. Uh, I've got some other sites set up here, for example, Alabama ecommerce.net, Arizona ecommerce.net, and then of course we uh, snuck in a demo uh, subdomain. So if I click on each of these domains down here, what it's going to do is it's going to create a separate menu for Georgia, for Alabama, for Arizona, and for the demo subdomain. So obviously if I click down here through Alabama, you can see that content shows up for Alabama as well as the Alabama menu, and the same thing for uh, the Arizona site and the um, the demo site as well. Now if you notice there was a change when I got to the demo site basically what I've done is I've set this up so that it's sharing one piece of content across all domains. Uh, domain access module gives us the ability to control who sees what, what site it's going on, those who need you know multiple domains up but can configure it under one roof. So that's basically what we cover here. Uh, what we also cover in the tutorial is how to configure site maps through out all of the domains that way no matter what content you're pushing it's domain specific the sitemap is going to reflect that domain blocks domain menus um, all sorts of good stuff uh, if you want to learn more